Welcome to an all new Build Out live stream. You can join the stream every Wednesday at noon Eastern Daylight Time, exclusively here on LinkedIn. The stream will be starting in just one minute. In the meantime, let me take this opportunity to talk about the graphic design platform that I use to create the social media graphics, overlays, and studio graphics for the Build Out series. Canva is both an online platform for your desktop and laptop, and also offers an app for smartphones and tablets. With the Canva graphic design platform, you can easily create social media, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual and video content. While there is a free version, Canva is best when using the affordable Canva Pro subscription and Canva Enterprise. So if you want to build out your social media and visual content, you need to use Canva. I'll make it easy for you to sign up. Just use the referral link provided on this streams event post or in the video description with this streams recorded posted to my YouTube channel. Okay, now let's get this build out live stream started. Today, my guest is Francisco Serrano from Roofers Going Digital. Francisco and I will have a discussion on how digital marketing is transforming commercial roofing. Francisco, welcome to uh, Build Out Livestream. Good morning, Jim. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. And good morning to all the audience, to all the LinkedIn community, roofing community, corrosion, coding, everybody. Yeah, uh, Francisco, before we would start our uh, discussion uh, for the live stream today, could you provide your background and also yeah. talk about uh, Roofers Going Digital, what you, what you guys do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first, I want to introduce myself so everybody can uh, can know me. If you guys don't know me, I'm Francisco Serrano. I'm I'm from I'm from Mexico. Uh, my background comes um, specifically from the uh, automotive industry, from the manufacturers directly. I was working in the headquarters of Nissan and BMW. I was a sales cons sales consultant for seven years. Then I moved here. My wife is from here, and I started to working like three years ago in the in the commercial roofing industry. I start like a little bit of my history is like I start. I, I didn't know anything about roofing. I didn't know anything about commercial roofing. I'm completely new, so I was an independent sales rep. So I didn't have any like monthly payment. So I didn't. It was hard to start, but those lessons uh, took me where I'm where I am now, and that is. LinkedIn and all the social media and the systems that we are going to talk today, like everything's resuming to that. Like that's a great way to start. Like if you are if you are starting in this in this trajectory, my best advice that I can give is to start from here. Roofers going digital. I create like that system that I uh, that I start creating two years ago. Right now, uh, we are like we are offering it to the industry. So, in case somebody wants to wants to start creating the systems, focusing on inbound marketing. Inbound marketing is a me methodology where we bring, uh, instead of send, sending like one thousand emails, we are gonna knock one thousand doors and we are gonna go crazy. Here is a little bit different. We plan strategies. We implement them. We create a brand. We implement them in social media. We, we implement it in your website. Your website, we make sure it's ready to sell to. So we create a system that is going to be selling while you are doing other types of conference, networking, receiving your referrals. So you can have your full your full line of attack about in your in your marketing strategy and sales too, because right now you know the the one of the main uh, recommendation that we can keep to society is having your sales and marketing working together. Once you 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 have you have find that you you are in the next level. It, everything is gonna be easier. I understand different um, different uh, backgrounds, but that's that's that that should be the main goal to everybody out there. So yeah, that's that's what I do as a little bit a uh, small introduction, Jim. Yeah, I've been following um, your firm for some time now. Very impressive um, looking at the work that you do. And uh, many on uh, watching the stream and on the replay might not know that um, in my background uh, for about five years, I um, ran an inside sales team. Uh, we did what I always call the front of the funnel before the uh, sales reps would go out, work for a national roofing company that uh, focused on industrial roofing, commercial, 
and also on uh, the retail space as well. Um, I know how critical um, branding is for roofing companies uh, and especially um, networking, um, marketing, and uh, communication out to uh, clients, customers, and, and prospects as well. So, uh, Francisco, just for everyone, we're gonna. This is what we're gonna be covering on today's stream. Uh, a lot to cover and a lot to talk about. Um, and also, to please uh, those who are watching, um, comment and uh, post any type of uh, 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 things that you want to add to uh, today's discussion as well. Some insights and things like that. So, let's go ahead and, and get into uh, the first uh, first topic that we wanted to cover. And that's going to be successful roofing businesses. They need to build strong networks. And when it comes to branding, branding is something that can make a company very successful. Or if not done properly, it can actually impede a company from growing and going to the next level. Could you go into some detail of how critical and how important it is for roofing companies, especially if they're really, it could be anything, residential, commercial, industrial, mm -hmm. for when it comes to branding, how critical is it? So how critical is, I think, is need to be your your fundament. Like before you start doing everything, you need to have a brand. Why? Because once you have a brand, everybody can recognize you. Once they see you, they are going to know that who, who are you. And one thing that I want to say is like, don't like to all the audience is like, don't think that a brand is your logo. Logo is just a small part of your brand. What, what are other parts of your brand is like, one is your logo, the way you write your content, you communicate yourself, the typographies, the type of, of letters you add to your to your communication, your colors that you use, the the platforms that you use, the strategies that you do, the, the methodology that your sales rep um, look for the target audience. So it includes everything. And looks a little bit simple but it's pretty hard i think brand branding and positioning a brand takes a lot of time one of my recommendations that i that i always uh, say is start now start posting your brand out there so people can start recognize you and posting a brand is not like posting from your business brand right now like the new the new era of branding is the personal brands Personal brands, if you like, the, the same name, the name say, says, what is it? But is the persons in the, um, creating marketing for a brand or for ourselves? Like in our case, like when I, in my case, I'm independent. So I need to put my name out there so people can re recognize me. And why personal branding compared to a business brand? Because those are the, they are different type of branding, but the ones, that are going to have more power right now are the personal and business brand. Business brand always have exist in the market, but personal brand, that's the one that is new. Why? Because people is tired to make business with brands, with, with, with a logo that they are not seeing what is it. So they want to make business with a person. And even persons, like a personal branding is even eight times more, has more impact than a business brand. So the benefits of putting your personal brand out there, or even your brand, if you if you are like if you don't know how to put your personal brand out, out there, like both of those strategies and start positioning. Don't try to sell first. First, start start engaging. Start being out there. Don't don't sell. The sell will will come after. I always tell I, one comparison that I always tell my 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 partners is. How do you how, how long do you think Coca Cola has been in the market, or like Nike? Those brands have been in the market for 100 years, and you want to start selling in your first three months. It's gonna take time. Branding takes time. Recognition takes time. And more if you want to start selling, like you have like big goals that you want to start selling everywhere. And so you need to start small, step by step. It's a and digital marketing is one of the best way of creating a brand right now in our days. Yeah, definitely. And and I think the, the one thing you mentioned is you want to have a strategy, but you also want to stick to it. You want to go the long term. You don't want to look at it in three months or six months or a year and say, well, this branding strategy failed. 
So if you have a lot of planning going into it, and then you might also might have third party help from, you know, for example, you know, um, roofers going digital, um, you guys have a lot of experience, you know, what works out in the industry. So sometimes also relying on a third party to come in and help you as well. So um, when it comes to obviously having that strong brand, um, hopefully you're going to be in the process of uh, lead generation mm -hmm. and, you know, having a strong network uh, will help you in the aspect of lead generation. And to your point, when you said engagement, it's about engagement as well. When it comes to lead generation, what are some of the things that roofing contractors do right? And what are some of the things that roofing contractors do wrong? Okay. What I see that they do really good is the door knocking, the, the outbound strategies, they are like, they are out there every day. It's impressive. And I have a respect for them because it's not for everybody being knocking doors. But I think uh, what some of some of those sales are very transactional and digital marketing and inbound marketing methodologies, they do, complete, they do completely the opposite. They focus on the long term. They focus on the relationships and come together with the brand positioning. So right now, like one of the one of the um, goals or a vision, one of the visions of Rufus going digital is, is accelerate the uh, the digital transformation of the roofing industry. And that comes together with that. Help these companies that they are doing their, their sales really good. Actually, if you see out there, there is a lot of companies and training doing sales, but marketing and long-term relationships and branding sometimes is for is for get and more in the in the industry. That's that's where I, that's where we saw the in, we saw the, the the opportunity. And probably you are doing it the same. This platform where we are right now, it's a huge opportunity that nobody's nobody's investing on it, and you can create huge huge uh, huge sales. Like actually, in my case, I don't do any I don't do any other strategies besides beside linkedin linkedin is the only way i do everything i connect i i i I, uh, I position my brand i i do everything here it's incredible the potential that turning this company to this side they can do because they do it really well it's just being omnipresent in the marketing and combining those 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 strengths yeah and um uh, you know uh, another benefit of a having a, a strong network that you build is dealing is actually um, generating quality sales. And when I look at the industry and, and the friends that I, I talk to, like yourself in the industry, in the roofing industry, it's about showing the, the customer, the client, and the prospect that you don't want to go with the lowest bid. You want to go with the lowest qualified bid. So, you know, making sure that the customer, the prospect, the client are looking into your background. They're checking referrals and references they're looking at also to the structure of your company that's very critical so you don't want to go with a low bid you want to go with the lowest qualified bid um, i've seen a lot of improvement in the industry you know you know i know that you know roofing uh, was one of the most and it might still be today one of the most litigated industries here in the united states um, do you see a lot of improvement when it comes to the the quality sale in the roofing industry I have seen improvement. It was war for sure. I wasn't here, but what I have here from some colleagues or friends, it is it is evolving, and that's the goal. I think that that should be the goal of all the roofing companies out there. I think uh, uh, creating these the opportunities are there. You just need to create them. How do you create it with the brand and with the social media that we just said right now? So. Uh, if we connect everything that we are saying ends with the system, with the digital system, you position the brand, you grow your network because your network, that's the good thing. Like you, you cannot get the same network being in the street that having it on social media. Social media, we have more than thousands of followers that are seeing us every day. Mm -hmm. And they are like really big companies in the roofing industry and construction industry that they have understand this and they are doing it already. And they are teaching other companies, other smaller companies to do this. And that's impressive. Like actually, I, I, I personally learned from them because they have been in the market for years. So 
for sure there is an improvement. Like the industry even is behind all of them. Even I think that in digital marketing, it's it's an there is an opportunity in all the markets, not only in the roofing industry. That's an, a good thing that I have noticed every day that I like I'm like doing my market research. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm finding. I probably you do it too. Like it's like you have a lot of ways how we can improve in in our case or industry. Excellent. And uh, earlier, uh, Lee uh, Wilson had asked a question of what are the best systems for roofing and not to put you on the spot there, Francisco, but Lee, uh, what I will address is that um, really were a lot of the indications that I've been reading that we're going into a, a phase where roof coatings are going to be very, uh, very um, widely used globally. You know, Francisco, when it comes to roof coatings, do you have experience with uh, roof coatings? Actually, the way I like to work is being specialized. I like, I don't want to do, I don't, I don't want to say like, oh, I do everything. Actually, I didn't say in the beginning, my specialization in the roofing industry is commercial roofing and only one system that are the roof restoration systems mm -hmm. that I have seen a lot, like a lot of, what I have seen is that right now TPO and in the last year TPO was the best one and is the most popular, not the best one, the most popular because it's depending the need of the roof and depending the need of the owner is how you choose a roof system. But right now the, the roof restoration system is having a, uh, a lounge, a really high lounge. A lot of people is coming to the industry and that like is it having get to the top of the, of being the most popular uh, roof system in the market. Why? Because technology is evolving so much. Mm -hmm. We have, like in our case, we have system, like if we get a little bit in, into the roofing systems about like the question is, we have like in our case on Instacool Premium Product, we have systems that are pretty similar that are uh, built it up roofs, like the hot tar and gravel, but right now we apply it cold and they have elongation and you open the pail and you start applying it. And we have a system that is, is like, is only for the built it up roofs. And it's exactly as like when the product is cured, looks exactly the same. So there is a lot of technology. I don't want to get into that, but yes, the technology coatings, I think roof restoration systems, not coatings, because it's a little bit of confusion in the industry. Yeah. I, I'm kind of probably, you know, using the wrong, wrong yeah. verbology. Oh, and yeah. But, uh, uh, it's just uh, it's interesting to see exactly you know the the transformation of the uh, roofing industry, um, and really the the growth and development when it comes to the the technology that's coming to uh, bear against uh, you know for roofing systems out there. Owners have um, a lot more um, interesting decisions they have to make. Um, you know, a lot of them have to update specifications and project requirements. And you know, to your point, there are other ways to address roofing. Um, issues before they become critical or failures. And sometimes it's just uh, looking at the liquid applied um, restoration systems. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good. Very good. So um, did you have, what do you want to add something else here? For no, no, actually I was going to say like, like coming from that, from that message, if we combine those commercial roofing systems with LinkedIn, that's the perfect combination right there. Because, Excellent. because that's, so there is two, like, in the in the marketing in the marketing world we call it systems too. So I, I think we are gonna get into that. But that's how when we put when you put good marketing strategies with good uh, commercial roofing systems, you have that's that's it. Just be consistent of what you do, and we can explain more about these systems because we we said about we talk about branding, mm -hmm. super important your fundamentals. But I, I will let you continue. Oh, no problem. And our, our next uh, uh, topic is uh, focusing on the basics of digital marketing strategies. You know, the first thing everyone wants to have or as a, as a company, as a roofing contractor, is your website. Um, but when it comes to a website, it's not just publishing and putting out there a website. You have to think about search engine optimization, uh, search engine marketing and things like that. Um, you know, how much, um, you know, what could you... Um, provide insights when it comes to mm -hmm. SEO and SEM? So once you have the branding, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about like how, like how do we connect the, the our system with the topic? So once you have the mm -hmm. branding, the website needs to be established with the same branding that we generate in the beginning. 
So everything is going to have the same line. So what you're, you're going to have your colors, the, the typography and everything. But that's not it because a lot of people think that having a website, that's you have you are a digital marketer or you are ready to sell. The problem when you create a new website is that nobody's going to see it. I'm sorry if you think that if your website is new, you're going to have uh, visits. That's not true because nobody knows your brand. You haven't positioned your brand. So you create your website, you create with your branding, and you optimize your website. So the website sells for you or with you too. So it's another, it's another, uh, another channel. How do you do it with SEO? SEO, search engine optimization. In resume, what is it? It's it's a it's it's not a it's not a tool, it's a system where you make an arrangement if we can say it that way we can we have a, you have a, we have an arrangement with google and google like you do everything what google says what google, why google because google is the 85 percent of the search the search engines search engines is where the people go and look for websites so you make an arrangement so when somebody asks something related to your business google is going to show in the first place Mm -hmm. But that only going to happen if you do what Google says or what the what the uh, what all the all this of the optimizations need to have. Obviously, that's that's one thing, SEO optimization. And the other one is you need to have a CRM connected to your website. Mm -hmm. What's a CRM? Customer Relationship Management. One of our favorite tools that we use right now that we are, are receiving like you have your website, nobody's visiting, they are going to visit in a certain time. We are going to go to that part in a little bit. But once you, you, you receive a visitor in your website, you need to be ready. Why? How are you going to be ready? One's with this SEO and the other one is the, with the chatbot. What's the chatbot? Is the, is the chat or is it going to pop up right, right away when somebody gets in your, in your website? Why is so important? I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say my example. One, one my example with um, Instacool that is one of our clients, and I'm my marketing director there. So in their case, we are selling projects that they are fifty thousand dollars, one hundred thousand dollars. We just I just sold one like if half million dollar project. So chatbot, they are called, they are called like that because they you you can automate it. So a, a bot, a robot answers you, but in our case. I don't want to leave these leads. Like imagine like CBRE or a huge commercial roofing, co commercial real estate company comes to the website, wants to talk with somebody, and then he finds out that he's talking with a, with a, with, with the machine. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to leave and no, no, never come back. So in our case, what we do, we have a really trained person behind that chat that is receiving all the message through the, through your phone. So you are all the time connected. So you have connect your social media and your website. All, all, all of them are actually that will be the top of your funnel. The chatbot is gonna work. Is gonna work to pre-qualify those leads because you like you are gonna start uh, are gonna start asking questions to see if it's a real person, if is he one, it's a vendor or it's like a, a potential client. So you need to have. You need to have it optimized it with your chatbot ready. Once you receive that that lead in the CRM, it's gonna go directly to the to the to the tool to the CRM tool. That that's another tool that you use to integrate the whole system and your whole leads, and you can manage your leads leads. You can send it to the sales rep. You can um, put put the stage of the follow up. Interesting, and then on the aspect of. Search engine marketing, that's something also, too, that you can do through uh, through Google. Um, what about, like, services like HubSpot? Would that be another way of doing uh, marketing strategy? Hot, hot, HotSpot is the one that we use it for, uh, for for the CRM that we use it to connect it. To mm -hmm. it in the, but in the case of S SEM, Google, obviously. Google, we have two options. So I'm going to go to Google right now. Mm -hmm. With Google, we, are, we have two options. The first one is SEO, that that's the organic organic uh, campaign. Why is important your organic campaign? And I want to focus a lot into that because organic is, is they are going to be your real followers. 
why they're going to be the real followers because are the person that, that are the, the users that are, are looking for looking for you for your system they have a need what happened with the paid ads and with the google ads that's more t transactional you are going to be in the top of the on the top of the search a lot of people does, doesn't like to click there because they are not they people know the, the, the client is, is is getting smarter and they a lot of people probably they are going to know Bit like more digital marketing than us, so so that that's another that's another another uh, cons about like your your adwords. So a lot of people doesn't click on them, or if you don't have a system already in place, it's gonna be really hard to get, like start with pay that and receive leads. First, you need to have the system in place. Everything organic is gonna take time. We said it, branding takes time. Organic is the best is the best way to position your brand. Once you start having your system, actually, the way we recommend it is after the six months, and depending on the budget of the client, but like minimum of three, a good one is six months. And we have clients that we haven't spent any money on ads, and they are generating leads like crazy. Like the, the amount of leads, they are really good. They are quality leads, and how how is this happening like without paying ads is because we are we are in we are everywhere we are on facebook we are on instagram we are on twitter we are on the website we are on google and we are creating creating content daily that that's part of the like actually the content that you create on on, on social media you create it on your website too that helps the organic so once you start rolling the system then you start with your pay that's and that's more with the sem perfect that's perfect nice. Perfect segue. You know, we talked about obviously marketing automation, uh, pay, pay per clicks when it comes to ads and things like that. On the aspect of uh, social media and and currently, you know, uh, really in twenty twenty, uh, a big upswing in video content, um, both uh, being um, uh, YouTube videos that are out there, uh, live streaming, and other type of content. Like for example, what we see a lot on on uh, LinkedIn as well. Mm -hmm. Where do where do you what do you see the value of video content and where do you see it going? Do you see um, see it becoming more important, more relevant? Look, the type of content, yes, is one of the most important. Why the video, like type of content, video is one of the most important. Why? Because you can see the face. There are other type of content that are gonna are gonna are gonna hit. Like they can they can have a lot of impact too. But not not as much as video. But I think the secret, Jim, is gonna be the content that you produce, and that that secret is the value content that you produce. So I think that it, like combining those two things, videos and value content, and having your audience there, that's another another perfect combination, another perfect storm. That if you are patient and you are keeping keeping creating it. You are gonna you are gonna have more impact now. What's the problem with video? It's hard. A lot of people. So, not it's not for everybody. In my case, I need to improve. I need to improve my video. So, what what is my recommend? Or what what's what what's what I always I always recommend? Five year type of content that you are good at it. Like you don't have to create because probably you are good on camera. Obviously, create videos. Go ahead daily. But probably you are a good you are good at writing, so start writing. Hey, start writing your uh, long posts. Start writing blogs. Put it on, on on LinkedIn. Actually, I have seen that. Or I haven't seen. I'm done it. My my content, my written content is having mm -hmm. like really good impact. I thought like I, I wasn't gonna have any, but is having really good. So that's why I'm continuing doing it, working on my video. But find whatever you are good at it. Probably you are good at it. Um, probably your team is really good and you have it like with all the safety equipment you have it like they, they work really well they, they are clean so go take them pictures go take pictures of the projects put it on, on on social media what else so there are different types that you can find the only thing that you need to be is a little bit creative take a little time think about it don't let anybody to bother you and think analyze yourself what are you good at it make your um your uh, SWOT analysis, mm -hmm. what are your strengths, what are your weakness, is going to help a lot. So you don't, it's because what I'm focusing right now is focusing on your strength. Don't start like, so focusing on that because it's going to be harder to focus on your weaknesses. 
you will have to work on them for but for right now work on your strength get of what you are good at it but video is the best thing live stream the same and yeah. the content is the most important why because probably you are creating videos funny videos the whole day and making jokes they are gonna work really well don't get me wrong people like to have fun they people likes it but what we need to be careful of what we are creating why because i don't want to be seen how do you wanna how do you wanna position your personal brand in the market mm -hmm. because it's a lot of responsibility 10,000 people 15,000 people is looking at you looking at you looking at you every day and you are putting like a drinking beer or in the bar or i don't know like that thought is not going to help so i think what you are doing good is your value content that you are creating and that Teach what you know, share people. And another fun thing is like people, oh no, I'm not gonna tell my secrets. People forget about it. Tomorrow they are gonna forget about you. Why? Because the time, like, it's it's a post. After you, they're gonna see another one and another one and another one. That's why it's like consistency is one of the keys of this, of this, of these, uh, these strategies, these digital strategies. Now, I like what you what you say when you talk, especially about, uh, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. And, and you know, maybe you yourself, you, you don't have the um, you really don't have the drive to do video or, or live stream. Um, but you might have someone in your in your company um, exactly. that is that type of person. Um, utilize that. And the other thing, yes. too, I noticed with LinkedIn, especially when you're looking at the roofing industry, there are, are a fair number of influencers that are on the platform, uh, great content, and even the uh, the things that I like to read from uh, from the post and some of the roofers, some of the outreach they do within the communities, mm. um, within the different industries, and and showing that you know we're not only looking to do business with you, we want to partner with you, we want to be part of your, let's say it, you know, your professional or business family. So it's yes. in interesting to see a lot of the content that's uh, done. Um, before we get into our, our final topic, I wanted to um, play a short video, Francisco, that yeah. uh, talks about digital marketing. Um, if you could hold on one second, oh, please. Yeah, for sure. I hope that you're getting value out of today's stream with Francisco from Roofers Going Digital. Related to today's topic, I found an informative HubSpot blog post by Lucy Alexander on a post titled The Who, What, Why, and How of Digital Marketing. Lucy covers why digital marketing is important, the role of digital marketing, and how you can take the next steps into digital marketing. The blog post is very informative, and I will link it on this stream's replay. One thing that I learned is that digital marketing is much more than online marketing. It's an opportunity methodology to promote brands and to connect with customers, clients, and potential prospects by delivering resources tools, and content using the internet and other forms of digital communications. According to Pew Research Center, more than three quarters of Americans go online on a daily basis, and that 43% go on more than twice a day, and 26% are online almost constantly. Let me leave you with this thought on digital marketing. Digital marketing should be one of the primary focuses of almost any business's overall marketing strategy. At no time before has there been a method to stay in such constant communication and contact with your customers, clients, and potential prospects. And importantly, nothing else provides you the most efficient level of personalization that digital marketing can provide. So now is the time to embrace the possibilities of digital marketing. Okay, now back to Francisco to finish out our discussion. So for those uh, watching the stream and also the replay and uh, the video on my YouTube channel, I will make sure that I put a link uh, to this blog post. Uh, it's a very informative read, uh, a lot of great information regarding digital uh, marketing. When uh, you look at the, um, the industry, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, information that I uncovered, it talks about the five Ds of, of digital marketing. And a lot of these obviously come into play when it comes to roofing, uh, contractors and, and digital marketing and, and um, in that hemisphere. Um, the first uh, D is digital devices. You know, Francisco, um, do you target certain types of 
clients, prospects, customers on certain type of digital devices? Is it are you going for the the phones? Are you going for the tablets, the desktops, laptops? What are you what are you targeting when it comes to a digital device? I think uh, the best advice we can be give to the community, Jim, is to have like a good phone. Mm-hmm. Why having a good phone is so important? What is this device the most important? Because if you have a good camera, the good cameras right now in the new phones, they can take a lot of quality pictures. Um, they can take quality videos and you, ca- you have it with you the whole day compared to having a professional camera. Having a, comp- ha- having a, having a, a tablet, yeah, it can work because you can take it to the roof too, but it's going to be ha- bigger. Computer, having a g- good computer is good with good uh, velocity. But I think uh, about targeting, about come back to your question, I don't, I don't think we have um, everything that we are targeting right now is social media. Once mm-hmm. we have it on social media, we look for the phones, email, and a name. That's once you get that information, that that lead converts to a hot lead because you are he wants he wants to connect with you, and that's where you you make the call and you send that email, and you send a, a message to a nine message. A text message so you attack to every like to, you in the first the first day answering your question you attack every everywhere mm. but you need to have the info first and you you create that info you create the information the contact information on social media mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and also too i think depending on the platform that you're focusing on if it's instagram uh facebook you know obviously you're going to be looking more at the phones and and probably the tablets um you know even um when you look at linkedin um, I believe, if I remember correctly, most people are viewing LinkedIn on their desktop and their laptop more so than their digital. Or I'm sorry, their phone. Uh, but that is that's going to change. Obviously, I think that's going to change. So you know, a lot of it is to kind of direct that marketing uh, towards whatever devices it you mm-hmm. know your clients and customers and prospects are. The the next um, um, digital marketing um, D is uh, the digital platforms themselves. Uh, you mentioned about uh, LinkedIn. When it comes to commercial roofing, um, are there any other platforms that you recommend to your clients? Look, the way I recommend the platforms, my best recommendation that I can that I can give if you are starting is choose one. Choose one and start learning from it because that is going to be a lot of work. Like only one platform. Why? Because inside the platform is not only the platform. They are the tools. Every tool has different, every platform has different tools. So it's a lot of work. So my best recommendation that I can that I can give you, you are a roofer and you do it really well, is to start on LinkedIn. Start learning all the tools. Invest all your time. Don't worry if you are not posting on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, or on TikTok. I don't, I'm not saying that it's, it's not going to work, but it's going to be really hard. That's the next level that you are going to find when you are starting in the roofing industry. Now, talking about LinkedIn. LinkedIn, people think I always, I, that's a question that I always ask. It's like, is LinkedIn for commercial roofing or for residential roofing? What do you think, Jim? Well, I, I would say more for obviously commercial. Okay. Okay. But I could well, be wrong. Here is, here is the way I see it. Don't you think the executives, the CEOs, the uh, uh, the directors, all mm-hmm. the all the all the community, they don't have a house. Probably, if they have a house, if a if a, if a general is a CEO has a house, or an executive director has a house, it's not going to be a small house. They are probably going to have another type of roof of residential roof system that is more profitable. Probably, it's not going to be shingles, and uh, like. The benefits that we can find on this platform right now is huge. Um, and But what, what's the situation that we are facing right now? LinkedIn was a, a, a forgotten platform for many years. People, oh no, like I'm, I'm not gonna hire anybody. But the thing is that people is seeing it. People is getting on it. Even when I start one year and a half ago, two years, they have the, the algorithms, they, have it, they had it open. Right now, every day that is that it passed, they are closing it and making it harder. What am I saying with this? If I compare it with Facebook, Facebook, they have closed the algorithm and they are make, making it hard to grow there. Why? Because they have 
millions and millions of users. So they don't they don't want any more. What do they want? They want if your money. They, if you pay, they are they are gonna put you whatever you want. But LinkedIn is different. L LinkedIn they want you to participate, to engage, to like, to comment. So they are focusing more into that. So that that's why it's really important to start now. Don't wait any time. Start looking at videos, teach uh, like uh, the trainings on LinkedIn. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So the, the third D of the five Ds is on uh, digital media. And we did cover uh, where you are highly recommending um, video uh, as, as content. Uh, the number four D is uh, digital data. Uh, when it comes to collecting data uh, from um, those that are clicking on your, uh, your ads or, or acquiring data on, um, on um, let's say, um, users and things like that, what type of data is important to collect? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two types. Mm -hmm. The first one is the basic one. All the platforms are gonna give you all the data already. What is what's the thing with that is that it's gonna give you the data, but they are not gonna interpret it. That's your work. Like that's the that's your company's work. And like read what it what like all the posts that were doing good, all the posts that having the most like the less like, so you can keep doing what is working. Now, if we want to take it to a next level, and if you guys are selling already with digital marketing, you include the marketing return of investment or the ROI, M MROI. That's when you are, you, 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 you uh, how can I call it? It's of every dollar you spend on your marketing, how much are you generating? And it's, th that's the good thing about marketing because the campaigns are generating 6x, 15x of every campaign that of every investment that we are doing mm -hmm. it's incredible the thing is that the system needs to be completely in, implement so you can start generating takes times everything that we have said here mm, very interesting very interesting and and the final um the 50 <laughs> is on digital technology and um i think your message is to embrace technology uh, take advantage of it and leverage it yes so one more thing is about technology, focus on SEO, but SEO is gonna convert into voice. What about voice, about like Alexa and all the voice, um, all the voice um, equipment that we have in the house. Mm -hmm. And the other one is be always ready to all the new platforms like TikTok was like a few months ago. Why? Because those platforms are the ones that are gonna be, if you spend time on it, they are going to tell you, like, I'm going to give you everything. And that's what happened with, with TikTok. Like, it's what I just explained about, about the algorithm. TikTok, if LinkedIn had it open, TikTok was, like, super open. Actually, there are some platforms that they are even paying to get there. Not TikTok, but other platforms. Actually, no, LinkedIn, like, a lot of platforms, like, but once you, cert you get to a cert certain level, these ones are, like, to get into there, like, they were paying, like, I don't know which one is it. Don't ask me, but that's what, like, that's uh, when I say about algorithm open or close, that's what I refer to. Very good. Very good. Uh, Francisco, uh, so uh, to cover uh, next week's guest, I'm going to have uh, Mike Lamont from TRC Companies, and we're going to be talking about the characteristics and qualities of a good leader. Uh, so make sure you join the live stream next Wednesday at noon Eastern Daylight Time here on LinkedIn Live. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, looking forward to uh, a discussion with Mike, uh, Mike Lamont. Um, Francisco, what an awesome conversation we had. A lot of great information that you provided, a lot of great details that you provided. Uh, in, in closing out the live stream, is there anything that you'd want to leave uh, with the viewers and, um, or, or any recommendations that you might have that we didn't talk about? I think uh, if somebody has, like, you can you can put it in the comments. You can ask us right now. Mm -hmm. But if not, you can reach to us to uh, only if you're on LinkedIn. Probably you guys, all, all of them are on LinkedIn. So reach to us, ask us the question. Like, don't be afraid of asking questions. I got a lot of people I, I wanted to, or happen to us, you know, like, I don't want to reach to somebody because, oh, what is he going to say? And they're like, no, and the, some people like because I have like a, a fast story. I used to like I used to really uh, be really good friend with a with a CEO, with a Nissan headquarters CEO, and she was like nobody calls me <laughs> like because everybody like uh, oh she's the CEO. So don't be afraid to 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 send us a message or an, a call. Like my phone is over there on LinkedIn. So connect with us. We are open, always open to help the community. Very good, very good. And Lee says intriguing. 
definitely really good topic here that we did cover today. Um, Francisco, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate it. You're welcome, Jim. You're okay. welcome. Keep in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you, community. See you later. Yeah, definitely. And um, please uh, like and share um, the replay of the live stream today. Also, too, um, I will be posting um, uh, tomorrow morning uh, the video. I'll put it out on my YouTube channel as well. Right. Uh, and please like and share that as well. Uh, Francisco, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Have a great day. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.